This is a review of the Olight i3T EOS. It's a portable flashlight, kind of an everyday carrier EDC style flashlight from a company called Olight. You might've seen them before, but this is a very popular model on Amazon. And this is the Olight i3T EOS in a brass body. So it's quite heavy, but also very good looking, at least in my opinion. It's more popularly sewn, uh, sold rather, as uh, with an aluminum body that's all matte black. The aluminum model with the black body is uh, sells for about twenty dollars. This brass body, it's uncoated brass, so it will build up a patina over time. Uh, but this brass model is about thirty dollars, so a good deal more expensive than the uh, standard model. And what you're getting for that is brass, which is nice and heavy it feels really nice in your hand and it uh, will patina over time so it'll kind of change color it'll look kind of it's weathered we'll say aged whatever you want to call it but it is gold out of the gate and it'll get darker over time this one i've been using on and off for about maybe uh, a little over a month now so uh what's the deal with the olight i3t it's uh, like i said a 22 30 dollar flashlight uh, the black one is very lightweight. I think it's about 40 grams. This model in brass, obviously much heavier. So about 80 grams, so quite heavy given the size. Uh, looks very cool. It has a two-way clip, so you could put it in going this way or you could put it in going this way. The clip is removable if you'd like. You just kind of pop it off, it's not a big deal. Uh, we have a single button in the back and no other controls. This is an LED flashlight so it has that single led in there uh it's single led but dual mode so you have two different brightness levels and we'll see what we could do about this you have your low level of brightness that's a single click turn off with a single click and now you have your high level of brightness it's a little hard to tell in this let's see if we can get all the lights off See, the second one is much brighter so it's two modes low and high and what those modes do is they give you kind of kind of an everyday type mode which will last for i think i've seen about eight hours of battery life from the standard mode and then the high mode which is like really blasting you know for a, a light of this size that's 180 lumens in full light and you should get about uh, I think about five to 10 minutes out of it. So it's pretty short. Uh, that, that's for like intense bursts of light uh, versus just kind of every day, just kind of flat light your way. It's a good size pocket flashlight for emergencies, for keeping in your car, uh, for keeping on you if you need to kind of get around a crawl space or go around the attic. Uh, it's a little bit small for like long extended activities. So say uh, walking your dog at night or something like that. Uh, on the low setting, you'll have the battery life, but you don't have a lot of power. And on the high setting, you're just not gonna have the life you need for something like that. So it's really either for emergencies or when you only need that low setting, which I think is, uh, it's about 40 lumens, so not much. Uh, as far as the build goes, it's really quite nice. Brass isn't really a very practical material for this sort of thing. Uh, it's quite heavy. And when you drop it, it will either dent or uh, get pretty scarred up if it's on pavement. Uh, so brass is really, you, you're doing it for how it feels in your hand or for uh, how it looks. It's not super practical. The button is uh, all rubber, easy to get at even with gloves and you're clicking the whole thing. So it's pretty easy to do. It's not like you have to just search for the middle. The uh, glass here, the lens is nicely protected. So no problems there. And then uh, pretty free of logos. You see a little bit of a QR code thing, CE tested, Olight logo. And then uh, over here it says EOS, uh, I3T EOS, which is the model. But that stuff's just uh, kind of probably lasered on so you can barely see it. You can take things apart. This would be to replace the battery. Not really too much else you could do there. You see a standard spring O-ring setup and that will seal it. I think it's uh, IPX8 certified, so you can get it wet, no problems there. 
single AAA battery. This just is like a, just a cheapo battery that came with it. And then not too much in there. You could see the, uh, the positive side of the LED or the positive side of the battery connect at the back of the LED. Goes together, no problems. And we're back in business. Uh, there's some uh, intelligence in the back here. You could kind of, by pressing it and holding it, pressing and holding it, you could reset which click is your first click. So instead of doing uh, the first click to get into light and the second, or not light, into low and the second click to get into high, you could switch those around. Uh, I haven't really played around with that much. It's not that big of a deal just to click three times to get to the high mode. And in fact, I really try to keep it out of the high mode because the battery life is so, so short. Uh, again, you could take the clip off if you want as a two-way clip, which is really nice. And it's a big springy clip. I really, uh, I'm really quite happy with that. So I haven't taken it off. Not too much else to say about the i3 T EOS. It's really a nice little flashlight. Uh, you know, I'd like to see more battery life out of the low mode. I'd really like to see a middle mode. So between 40 lumens or 50 lumens, whatever the low is, and 180 at high, uh, I kind of like to see something in kind of the mid range of 90 where you get some better battery life, but more light, but without it being maxed out. Uh, and then, you know, $30 is not a bad price for this given it's brass. Obviously the black aluminum model is a lot more practical because it's a lot lighter. It's just as tough. And then uh, it's not gonna patina or scar up when you drop it. Not that aluminum is bomb proof, but it's, it's tough enough and it won't get the aesthetic uh, impurities or not impurities, aesthetic, uh, you know, kind of uh, damage that you're going to see from a piece of brass. So that should cover it with the i3T EOS.